Hi friends, one of the most useful applications of LLMs is to be able to query and chat with databases to extract uh, insights in natural language, right? So Vana AI, it's an open source Python library, which does exactly the same. So using Vana AI, we can connect to our database and we can query and chat with the database in natural language. So our questions gets converted to SQL and they are executed on the database and we get the results back along with the SQL query so that we can uh, verify if they are correct or not. Okay, So this library is being actively developed uh, and becoming quite popular as you can see from the stars here. So the way it works is uh, it's a two-step process. Now in step number one uh, we train uh, a model. It's not exactly the model, but basically we embed all the information we know about our database. For example, uh, the DDL uh, uh, statements, the documentation, for example, uh, we might uh, refer to a variable uh, in some business terminology, which may not be exactly the same in the database uh, column names, right? So such information we provide in the form of documents and we can also provide uh, uh, some example uh, SQL statements. So we gather some information uh, we know about our database and using that information we create the embeddings and we store them in a vector database. So that's uh, what we are referring to as train here. Now this is a one-time step process. Now once we have trained the model then we ask the question uh, embeddings are created for that question and then we do this vector similar search to find out uh, 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 embeddings which are similar to our uh, query right now using those uh, similar documents and our query uh, we use LLM to create a SQL statement and then that SQL statement gets executed on the database uh, so that we get the results uh, we wanted. Okay. All right. So here is a more uh, detailed diagram. So this is how it looks like, right? So after we train the model, uh, so this step number one is already completed, right? Which is uh, collect all the uh, DDL uh, documentation, uh, reference SQL queries, etc. Right? So once we have trained the model, uh, this is how it looks like. So we ask a question. And then uh, the embeddings are created for that question. Uh, and those are compared against what we have in this vector store. Okay. This vector store contains these three pieces of information. And then we get the similar uh, embeddings. Okay. We pass the question and uh, the extracted information, which is something like uh, uh, context, like uh, in a rag sense, that get passed to uh, an LLM and LLM generate a SQL query, we uh, execute that against the database to get the results. Now, these results, it can be a data or it can be uh, it can be charts, uh, etc. Right? Now, if the results we got uh, is correct, which means the SQL query generated is correct, right? Then what we can do is we can add that query and the generated SQL back to this vector store so that over the time, uh, uh, the model uh, learn more about our database and also the model gives us more accurate results. Okay. So at a very high level, uh, we have this Vana AI system. Uh, we can connect to any databases and it requires two, uh, two components, right? One is the vector store uh, to store the embeddings uh, related to uh, the information about our database. And the second one is this LLM to generate uh, the SQL uh, query. Okay. Uh, let's look at an example. So we can install using uh, the simple uh, pip install. Now uh, here, uh, so the pandas uh, and this create engine, I'm uh, just going to show the how the uh, data looks like. But from Vana, we are simply uh, importing this Vana default module. Okay. Now, as I mentioned here, uh, we have two steps, right? Uh, first, we need to train a model and then we connect, we ask the question. So, 
we are going today we are going to use uh, uh, an inbuilt demo uh, from vana in the next video we will use our own database to train the model okay so we connect to a model this chinook model uh, which is all uh, by which is uh, trained by vana okay we also provide uh, the api key um, and then we connect to the database okay so here we have a model and a database we connected uh, to both now before we ask the questions uh, let's look at uh, what the database looks like so this is the schema of the database uh, basically it's a uh, it's a music store uh, sell uh, selling data for example here the music store it has these employees the customers the invoice uh, what they are selling and then uh, related to those uh, tracks the artist uh, albums the media types etc right so it has these 11 tables and we can see uh, the joints uh, etc here now using this sql alchemy i have connected to the database directly so this is nothing to do with vana right and here uh, we are extracting the table name so as you can see here this database has these 11 tables so if you look at one of the uh, one of the tables which is let's say this album it has these three columns album id title and artist id okay so this is about our data set so going back to vana uh, we did only two things so we imported vana we connected to a model we connected to a database okay so we have all the information then we can start asking the question so for example here vana ask here we are asking uh, what are the top five artists by sales so it generated this uh, sql query uh, which is fairly uh, reasonably complex in the sense it uh, is multiple tables so here we are asking for the highest sales right so if you look, the sales are in this invoice line now this uh, get connected to track tracks are connected to album albums are connected to artist because we wanted to find out the artist name so there are four tables involved in answering this question okay so it has done a pretty good job uh, uh, this query is correct uh, and then the query is executed uh, against the uh, database and these are the five results and it also gave us uh, this chart okay all right um vana it also has uh, this uh, flask app uh, you can run this flask app like this uh, and it will provide this uh, local host uh, so go to your local host here uh, uh, it looks like this um, as i mentioned uh, we'll discuss more about how we train the model in the next video uh, but um, this is the interface uh, they have provided some example uh, uh, example uh, queries here i ran one of the examples for example uh, which five cities have the most customer so the sql query and here is the result and it also generated uh, a plot and if you want we can download this output uh, uh, as a csv file as well okay and we can keep uh, uh, asking the questions okay uh, to quickly summarize uh, once we have a database we will need to train a model right and to vana we connect the model we connect the database so these two steps and then we can start asking uh, the questions okay uh, that's all for this video uh, in the next video we will connect to our own uh, database and we will train a model and then uh, execute uh, the queries uh, thank you very much